what exactly happened on the evening of November 6, 2014? Uh, that night uh, was an event at El Patio Bar. Uh, myself uh, attended. Uh, it was a private uh, Citizens Academy for the police department, a private event that they held. Uh, Jerry Velasco w was there along with myself. Uh, Jerry was uh, uh, drinking heavily at the bar as was witnessed by uh, over a dozen uniformed police officers and uh, many members of the community. Uh, he uh, was driving home northbound on Cogswell. Uh, passing Laura Zuza, he ran the light intersection at Cogswell and Laura Zuza, uh, T-boning Ashley Thorpe. 28 years old. Uh, after he uh, ran a red light and hit her, uh, police arrived on scene uh, where Watch Commander uh, Lieutenant Ben Laurie, now Captain, uh, instructed the responding officers not to administer a, any kind of sobriety test or alcohol test on Jerry Velasco, that he saw him or was with him at the event and uh, vouched that he was not drinking, which was uh, completely inaccurate. Chief Reynoso uh, came into the department in 2015, just after uh, the accident. He should have opened two investigations, one in regards to Jerry's uh, felony drunk driving, and two, uh, Ben Lord's uh, cover-up for the accident. So instead of uh, initiating any type of investigation or inquiry, uh, Chief Reynoso promotes uh, Lieutenant Ben Lord to captain. I'm very disappointed uh, in Chief Reynoso. Do you know what happened to the victim of the November 2014 accident? She suffered injuries according to Facebook posts. She's the real victim in, in this entire uh, matter, besides the taxpayers of El Monte who are fronting the bill for Jerry's uh, fraudulent workers' comp claim. It's uh, very, very offensive for him to be receiving workers' compensation. You don't get workers' compensation from leaving a bar drunk and causing a felony drunk driving. City was uh, paying for his medical uh, bills, so the amount of what or amount that Jerry has received in 2018 uh, the city has not released that, that amount. Uh, members of the community uh, made public records requests, to my knowledge, uh, and have not received them. Even if a city uh, has confidential matters for, for payments, they still have to list the amount. It would be the Public Records Request Act that they're violating. What is the mayor, Andre Quintero's, role in all of this? Uh, mayor Quintero, uh, as I said before, uh, was the only person in El Monte who was aware of Jerry Velasco receiving city workers compensation. Aside from that, he also works as a lawyer attorney for a workers compensation firm referring cases. Uh, also, uh, Jerry responds and listens to uh, Andre. Um, nothing would be done uh, without Andre's permission or guidance. Anyone who knows Almani politics uh, is aware of who calls uh, basically the shots. To notify local media, I contacted the Tribune, Jason Henry and Rebecca Kimmich. Uh, they were given information regarding Jerry's uh, felony drunk driving uh, and pictures regarding his fraudulent workers' comp claim. I have no idea why the Tribune did not write anything in regards to his felony drunk driving or his fraudulent workers' comp claim. These reporters from the Tribune are created more harm than good uh, by propping up Jerry's accident, by reporting him as the victim, not looking into Ashley Thorpe, the real victim who he hit. They failed to look at any of the evidence that were given. They failed to even inquire on or do any follow-ups. The information is, uh, right, was right in front of them. Uh, the, the, they failed at the basic uh, duties as a journalist. Uh, there's really no excuse for that other than that the Tribune does endorse Andre Quintero and Jerry Velasco. Uh, 
uh, Jackie Lacey's office was notified uh, for uh, his uh, fraudulent workers' comp claim and his felony drunk driving. I'm very disappointed in the district attorney's office. She, that office uh, has more than enough information, has been pervy uh, by more than enough information, not just by myself, a city clerk, uh, in that capacity reporting this to her, but other members of the community uh, have went to her office, the Public Integrity Division, uh, on Jerry Velasco's felony drunk driving, there's fraudulent workers' comp claim, but other matters in the city uh, regarding corruption. And I'm very disappointed on her lack of attention uh, to anything regarding uh, the prosecution of elected officials who are implicated in any type of corruption. California Department of Insurance uh, was notified uh, after the accident in regards to his workers' comp claim. Uh, myself and other members of the community uh, also have been in contact with them regarding information, uh, regarding the circumstances of his fraudulent workers' comp claim. I regard it as an immense failure from the Department of Insurance that they did not prosecute Jerry Velasco for his workers' comp claim. I've been interviewed uh, by the FBI uh, about over a half a dozen times uh, regarding Jerry's, uh, this accident, his, his workers' comp claim. The FBI's inaction is troubling. Uh, why, again, they have all the information they're aware of, of all the illegalities and the corruption regarding Jerry's uh, accident, among other things. Uh, their inaction is, is very alarming and troubling.